Hi guys, welcome to this Omni Studio mini project uh, Hanson series video number two. In this video, we will be seeing how we will get an uh, error if we are not selecting the right opportunity related to this account. So let me click on the design phase. So here we have the get contacts over here. So to do that, let me find out the logic. So if we say that this opportunities account ID is not related to this account ID, so we would be ideally getting an error. So let me try that. So we know that we are getting the opportunity ID in this particular part. So what I'll do is I'll pass this opportunity ID here as well. I'll say of select opportunity and I'll pass the value in the same node. Actually, let's make it a different name. I'll say opportunity ID. Okay. I am passing at opportunity ID. Now what I will do, we are going to modify our integration procedure logic related bit. So I, I have clicked on this link and I am uh, coming to this particular new tab. So now I am going to create a new version. And here if you see we have one data after extract action and one response action. So let me click on that. So in, we know in this data after extract contacts we are getting the contacts and accounts as well. So I am in the extract tab and let me extract the opportunity as well. So I'll say select the opportunity opportunity and I'll name the output part as opportunity as well and I say opportunities account ID should be equals to account ID and the opportunity ID also should be the opportunity ID that I am getting over here and in the output path right Uh, let me delete this so that we will be able to um, start from the scratch. So like account contact, right? I want to be able to get another node in which I will be able to get the opportunity account ID and opportunity ID as well. So there are two ways. Either I can configure it from this step by clicking on this plus icon or I can modify it using a quick action, right? So what I'll do in the in the expected JSON output, I'm passing the current JSON output and I'll create a new node. I'll let's say I copy this one. Right. And the account I'll say to that opportunity. Opportunity. Uh, I want the account name, account ID and let me say i'll say opportunity and i also want to get the opportunity idea as well and it should be anything right so now the error is gone we have this opportunity object here so now the magic is that if i gonna click on quick match i don't have to manually do something like that I click on add a new mapping and manually write. So I'll click on quick match. So if I say auto match, it already matched the opportunities account ID and opportunity ID for me. But for account name, it is not coming. That I have to do somehow else. Uh, so at least we are getting the account ID and opportunity ID for now. So let me click on save. Right. For opportunity name, I have to match it. So I'll say opportunity account name. So in this we are going to learn another thing that is called how to get the related uh, object uh, related record fields. So I'll say opportunity account ID and instead of account ID, I want account dot name. It's it is actually same as Salesforce as you can. So let's try it. 
so i don't think i have the correct opportunity id over here but let me click on preview we are gonna take this request from here so i'm gonna select edge communications and i'm gonna select edge generator and if i click on get contacts right let me see what i'm gonna request so in this request i'm getting this data so if i come to the data raptor and i'll paste the data if i click on execute i am getting this opportunities details but let's say i i'll come over here instead of age i'll set pyramid constructions right and if i click on get contacts and if i check the request data so the account and opportunity account are different now right so i should not be able to get this opportunity node over here so let me paste it and see if you see i am getting the contact and account but not opportunity so we are gonna use this thing so let me go to the integration procedure and let me go to the preview so here also you can see we are not able to get the data but if i wanna take this particular request data and execute it we are getting the selected contacts account id i let me try that again see get contacts account id and opportunity id request data all right so to get this uh, request data we also need to pass this opportunity id i think i have already done it so let me explain that to you when i uh, we want this data opportunity id from here we are getting this from integration procedure so this opportunity id that i mentioned here this value should be equals to this value and the value should be coming from here okay so if i'll paste this value we are not getting it that's because of this response action in the response action we have only selected we only got to see get the selected contacts account and account id but if i come to this data raptor extract let me close this if you see we are getting this opportunities account name and id and account id as well so i think we can write a custom logic to see if the opportunity is matching or not so let me create another key value pair in this i'll name the output as is valid opportunity right and and the value should be let me explain that to you as well from the dr extract contact accounts right so there is an if condition <coughs> so if i say dr extract contacts dot opportunity a colon account name if that is there if that is there then it is valid else it is not valid so for now we should be able to get this uh, as valid opportunity let me try so it says is valid opportunity as false but it should not be because let me go to here we are getting this opportunities account id here as well so let me see what i have done wrong here okay it should be account id and let me try if it is not equals to null then it is true else it is false so let me execute this once again it is not equals to null what it is saying that it is equals to null let me do one thing let me also get the opportunity id
opportunity and I'll get this value all right I think I have something typo here <laughs> let me copy the exact one so I also recommend you to not to write it manually instead copy this one so I'll copy this and opportunity I'll also write this opportunity so that we'll get to know what the value is I'll click on the effects that's it so let me click on preview so we are getting the opportunity and the valid opportunity is true but let me take uh, make a typo in account ID so now it should be false so now it says is valid opportunity is false right uh, so I think now we are done with our integration procedure and data after so what I can do is I'll activate this one we actually don't need this value I'm just keeping as it is but you can also remove it so I, I only need this particular value is valid opportunity now I'm gonna click on activate all right so now let's go to design so to show the error we need something called messaging element so let me get the messaging element so yeah right this is the messaging element I'll say message invalid opportunity yeah, right I'll change the field level to that but it won't matter since we are hiding the level in the if there is an error I'll say I'll display an error message so the type should be requirement I should please select a valid opportunity right so now there is two things validate expression and conditional view so what I'm gonna do, do is I will uh, I will use the logic in the conditional view so I'll say if the is valid opportunity is equals to false then show this message, message element and we'll don't valid again need to validate I'll just simply write if one equals to two validate so what will happen that is the success message will never seen since one will be never equals to true it will always show you this select opportunity but it will come to this conditional element and it will show if the opportunity is invalid so let me click on preview right so let me select an account and the opportunity I'll click on get contacts so this is fine the opportunity is not invalid so it is related to same account but let me select another account if I click on get contact we get this error please select a valid opportunity so that's it for uh, this video in the next video we will see how we will configure uh, this omni script so that we will be able to launch it from the utility bar and from the record base so thank you for watching this video we will see you in the next video